Next question is from Manisha. We have heard that in our culture, there are many ways to boost immunity with the local resources available at home. Could you shed more light on building resistance using home remedies? Well, building up immunity is not going to happen overnight, this we must know. Generally, I believe for a variety of reasons, looking at the lifestyles, looking at the food patterns, I think this must be checked, this must be medically checked. I think southern Indian people are, are having a better immune system than a whole lot of other people in the world, simply because of the food patterns and the practices and the weather and various other aspects. You must understand in a tropical climate, there are more life forms than anywhere else. Including microorganisms, the number and the variety of them is very, very high. So living in this land itself, the system becomes more resilient because we are exposed to these things all the time. That is one aspect. Another thing is food, another thing is lifestyles. All these aspects are there, being farming communities largely. Most of us, if not in this generation, in the previous generation, we've all come from farming communities. So people lived on the land, that itself gave them enormous strength. In most other parts of the world, over eighty percent of the population moved away from farming probably hundred years ago. In India, we've just moved away from the land only in the last twenty-five, thirty years ago. This benefit is still there with us, it will not stay with us if you're continuing... if everybody starts living in high-rise apartments without being in contact with the ground and start living like lab rats protected from everything, well, our immunity also will go down. But I think we still have this advantage. But right now, what can I do to boost my immunity? As I said, it's not an overnight solution, but in a period of time, you can do this. Well, let me talk about very common things available. One thing is, uh, I must say this, uh, you know, we are uh, sacred ash people, we are always ash smeared one way or the other. There are different types of ashes, if you know how to use it, I can't go about giving you instructions of this uh, over the... <laughs> on the web, but if you learn to use it properly, it helps. Neem is available almost right across the country except in the mountainous places. Daily consumption of neem leaves, turmeric is anyway available. Now they are making what is called as nano-turmeric, where the absorption rate is way higher than the normal turmeric which also greatly enhances your immune system. If you... if you soak... Uh, the gooseberry or the amla or the nalikai in honey overnight, along with uh, some broken pepper, black pepper or green pepper, green pepper for... I'm saying for those of you who are in other countries, green pepper does not mean chili we mean to say raw pepper, the peppercorn, when it's raw, which you might not have seen in most parts of the world, here it's common for us, it's available. So, soak it in honey and every day about three spoons, three times a day. It's... it works best, all these things work best when you're on an empty stomach, that's the first thing that you take. Uh, if you do these things, you can sh see a significant increase in your immune system, I would say in four to eight weeks, one can see significant betterment of one's immune system. There are yogic practices which are hard to teach, but right now just uh, doing a chant and doing Isha Kriya, this will also enhance your uh, immune system. Let this be very clear that this is not treatment for coronavirus, nor is it a prevention. I did my chant, so I go and do irresponsible things, it's not going to work like that. These are things you do over a period of time and strengthen your system. That 
The next virus that comes, you may be in a little better place to handle, that is if you're there. Yes, don't take this lightly. Do not take this lightly. Right now, it is a challenge for every one of us to stay alive through this period. That's what it means. Do not think it's some remote thing that happens to somebody else in China or Italy. Right now, if we stay through… if you stay alive through these six to eight months, that means we have handled this responsibly. If every one of us stay alive, that means we are good. We have lived consciously and responsibly, that's what it means. This is what, unfortunately, the governments have to enforce by force, because a whole lot of people don't seem to realize that this is necessary. And they think… they think this is some fiction. This is not fiction. This is an imminent danger that we need to handle properly.